Hey guys, this is Mr. Guys for Algebra 2, Chapter 7.1 through 7.4 review. The directions here to factor each polynomial completely and to show all of your work. Now, take a look to number one because number one did change just a little bit. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we have to do every single time is to see if there is a GCF. Okay, so is there a GCF in number one? And the answer is yes. Okay, we can take out a three from all of this. Okay, so if the three comes out front, and we're left with six AC plus fifteen AD plus two BC plus five BD. Okay. Just be very careful with all of the variables. Now, we're going to split this in half and take the GC of the front and the GCF of the back. Now, in the front, the only the GCF that we have is we can take out a 3 and an A. Now, in the back, the only thing that we can take out is a B. So, when we rewrite the next step, it's 3A and you're left with 2c plus 5d, okay? Plus, and we took out a b, and then we're left with 2c plus 5d, which is good because we want those two to match, and they do. All right, so now when we rewrite our final answer, the three stays out front, 3a plus b, and 2c plus 5D. Okay. And that's our final answer, so we're going to put a box around it. Okay, number two. Remember, always check to see if there's a GCF. And there is. We can take out a 9. The 9 comes out front, and we're left with x squared minus 9. Okay. And from here, it is the difference of two squares. So if the 9 comes out front, remember 1's a plus and 1's a minus, and the square root of 9 is 3. Alright, number 3. Now, is there GCF? No. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the cubed root of everything, okay? And remember that this is a pattern, okay? The cubed root of a cubed is a, and the cubed root of 125 is 5. And remember that this is your a, and that is your b. Now, the rest of this is a pattern. It goes minus and plus. We do a squared a times b, and b squared. So this is a times a, this is a times 5, and this is 5 times 5. We're getting all of that information from those two guys right there. Okay? So, a times a is a squared minus 5a plus 25. So we'll erase all this stuff so it doesn't get confusing, okay? And remember, it's just a pattern, okay? It's a plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared, okay? This was the pattern, okay? All right, number four. Is there a GCF? There is not. Okay, so we got to multiply those two guys and you get 30. So we're looking for a combination of numbers that add up to get to negative 7 and multiply to get to negative 30. Now, if you need to write the factors of 30 over on the side, it's 1 and 30. 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 
5 and 6. And 3 and the 10 is the combination that works, and the 10 has to be negative. So when we break this up, you get 6x squared plus 3xy minus 7xy minus 5y squared. The GCF of the front is a 3x. In the back, it's just going to be, what is it, what goes into, oh, I wrote the wrong number right here, it's not 10. It's supposed to be 10, Mr. Grice. Did you guys catch that mistake? Okay, so this is actually negative 5y. Okay, and now you're left with 3x and then 2x plus y. We take out the negative 5y and we're left with 2x plus y, which is good because we need those two to match. And our final answer is 3x minus 5y and 2x plus y. Okay, number five. Is there a GCF? Yes, there is a 3. Okay, so the 3 comes out front and you're left with m cubed plus 1. Okay, and once again, this is the difference of uh, the cubes. And we're going to follow the exact same pattern. So pause the video. <coughs> You're going to be following that pattern. See if you can figure it out. Okay, and that's what you get. Now, if there are any specific questions on that, please come see Ms. Kranz or myself. Now, number six, once again, the difference of two cubes, or two, yeah, two cubes. Is there a GCF? No. So now, we're going to do the same thing. You take the cube root of everything, but this is our other pattern, okay? This pattern is minus plus plus, okay? So 125, it's 5x, and the 1 is the 1. 5x squared gives you 25x squared. And you get 5x, and then 1. Okay, just remember that this is your A, and this is your B. So this was 5x times 5x. This was 5x times 1, and that was 1 times 1. Okay, I'll write the pattern down for this one too. A minus B, A squared, plus AB, plus B squared. Okay, all right, let's flip it over. So first thing to ask yourself, is there a GCF? Yes. Okay. You can pull out the 4. And you're left with a cubed minus 1. So this is the pattern again. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure it out. Okay. And there it is. Number 8. Always ask yourself, is there a GCF? Okay, and we can take out a 3. So the 3 comes out front, and it's W squared minus 9. Okay, and now this is the difference of two cubes. Or two squares, I'm sorry. And the square root of 9 is 3. Oh, and I forgot to put a box on my final answer on number seven. I'm sorry, guys. I'm slacking today. Okay. Now, number nine and ten, I want you guys to do these all by yourself. Okay? 
Always check to see if a GC, you got a GCF. One of them, you're going to have to take out the GCF, and then it's going to be the difference, the two cubes. And on another one, you're going to need to multiply and figure out which factors add up to get to 5, but multiply to get to negative 6. Okay? All right. Good luck. Okay, and there you guys go. Now, if you have any questions, please come see Ms. Kranz or myself. Otherwise, that's it for Algebra 2, Chapter 7.1, 7.4, Review. Thanks for watching.